everyone, it's Allison here, also known as Lasan Faye, and today I am here with a brand new Zen Doodle With Me video, this time for the month of June, the very first um, few days for the month of June in, in the Zen Art Challenge. Um, just as a reminder, a link to the Zen Art Challenge can be found down below, as well as a link to the sources for any of the tangles that I use in today's video. So let's go ahead and dive on in. The first tangle I have for you all today is called Films, and it's by Lori Howe. And the way you get started with this is you're gonna create a um, couple lines or curves that are all in line with each other. And you want pairs of them to be close to each other but you want the other pair of lines to have a little bit of separation away. And then once those lines are in place, what you're going to want to do, and I recommend using a slightly thicker pen for this, um, is you just want to draw lines that connect the inner two uh, curves that you drew together. And you want to have like nice little sizable squares or rectangles in between. And then finally, in between the um, closer pairs of lines, um, you want to do more lines that are much closer together. That is films. Um, so named because of how it looks like a film strip. Um, I think this is really cute. Uh, some suggestions, though not pictured here, uh, have been you could use this as like a banner and write in, say, letters into the um, film spaces. Um, or you could just use it as regular decoration on the side of whatever piece you're working on. But I'm going to go ahead, leave this one as is, and move on to the next doodle. The next doodle I have for you all today is called River Stones, and it's also by Lori Howe. And the way you want to get started with this one is we are going to start by um, drawing a river, and the way we do that is we come in and we draw a little curve and we draw another one really close to it and another one and let's do about five in total and that puts the river in place then above and below um, where the river is you want to um, create a little scallop. Then you want to go ahead and on the underside of the scallop, connect things back up. These form some of your initial rocks. And you can proceed to add more rocks into the curves of the river. And you can choose to leave some empty space or you can fill them in with smaller rocks. Um, another suggestion, and this is what's given in the example off on the right hand side, is to come in and fill in the blank space with just your pen. And just like that, we've completed river stones. I think this is a really pretty doodle and tangle, and I hope you all enjoyed this one too. Let's go ahead and move on to the final tangle for this video. 
The final tingle I have for you all today is called Suckers by Lizzie Main. And there's a couple ways you can get started this, with this one. Um, if you use pencil, you can draw a wavy line um, using that pencil. And then on top of that wavy line, you can come in and you wanna draw some ovals that follow the line and that get progressively smaller the further along the line you are. Okay, and then once those ovals are in place, inside the ovals you want to draw another oval that's just inside, and then another one that comes a lot further in with a small tiny one in the center. You want to repeat that? And then in between the last two ovals you drew in any given sucker, you want to draw straight lines that project radially outward from the center. This can look a little bit messy on some of the smaller ones. Finally, we can um, connect all of these together by um, just drawing lines through the bottom and the top. And just like that, we have suckers. Um, kind of like those that you would see on an octopus, which I think is really fun. Um, but that is all that this tangle is. And so I'm going to um, stop this clip here. And remember that if you have been using pencil, you can go ahead and erase your pencil guides at this point. All right, and that is it for the first few days in the month of June. I will see you all Sunday for next week's Tangles. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more from me on a regular basis, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and take care and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye.